if you would have told me six months ago that this is where we'd all end up, you know, like Northwest Brooders riding around electric scooters and brewing hazies, I would have called you crazy. Uh, but here we are. I think Brooders is fine. Brewers, that scooter. I mean, at the end of the day, look, we're just a handful of guys who like to make strong, hazy, aromatic beers. And uh, we also have a strong affinity for local scootering. I mean, honestly, there's not much different between hazies and scooters. I mean, when you're drinking a hazy and it hits you right in the face with all that aroma and flavor, it's the same thing when you're riding a scooter and the wind's hitting you in the face. It's just pure magic. Yeah, when we found out that the Stormbreaker crew uh, was one fellow Brewsters and two makers of some of the best hazies in town. I mean, we knew it was a match made in heaven and we wanted to do something with those guys that the industry had never seen. Old Town's been in the hazy game as long as we have and they're doing it right. Plus the fact that we share scooter blood. I mean, this idea basically wrote itself. What idea is that? We're gonna brew the first ever hazy IPA brewed entirely on scooters. Definitely hazy, guys. You gotta go hazy. IPA. Right, Definitely want to use some Chueca and El Dorado. Okay, okay, I like that. Um, El Dorado, some, something else. Maybe it's something on the New Zealand variety. <laughs> yes, yes, this is yes, yes. More, um, always more. So Just add more. Something's missing. Yes, perfect. Yes, 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 yes. The scooter, Jeff. That's yes. the one. All right, hands in, guys. One, two, three, brew this! Let's do this! Jesus. Get out of the fing way, Joe! Are we gonna brew this? Jesus, Jesus Christ! Christ. <laughs> Everyone's telling us it's impossible. The world's not ready for it. And we're like, we're brooders. Was the world ready for modern medicine or the internet? We're not here to make just another beer. We're here to change minds. Look, I'm not gonna bullshit you and tell you something of this magnitude is gonna be easy, because frankly, it's not. I mean, these scooters aren't that nimble. And this brewery, it ain't as wide as the open road. Uh, obviously, we're gonna face a lot of challenges. It's really gonna test both of us, uh, both as brewers and as collaborators. It's really gonna change the way people think about brewing. Okay, yeah, so tell me about this, uh, what your thoughts on this collab beer brewed on scooters. All I can think of is a bunch of brewers on scooters with mash paddles smacking each other in the head. I mean, it sounds like hockey players that have never been on ice. Uh, I think the beer sounds amazing, really. I mean, I love everything these guys are doing, and having them both do a collaboration together just sounds perfect. I'm really interested to hear about what they're going to do with this Australian variety as well. Um, and what about the fact that it's brewed entirely on scooters? I don't give a shit about that. <laughs> You know, I come from a long line of brooders. My dad was a brooder and his dad before him. It goes so far back in our history that we even have a scooter on our family crest. Nice. Uh, what about your mom's side? My mom's side? They're brunocyclists. You know, the brewers that brew on unicycles? It makes for some really awkward things to get used. Yeah, I really think we're starting to feel the pressure a bit. I mean, we got a lot riding on this. No pun intended. I mean, the whole world's watching. I mean, if we don't pull this thing off, I don't even want to think about it. That was pretty unique. Uh, we hopped the hell out of it with uh, Motueka, Moture, El Dorado. Uh, it's going to give you flavors of grapefruit, uh, tropical fruit, passion fruit, a little bit of pineapple in there. 
Um, I really think it's going to be something that people haven't had before. And we're also on scooters. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's been it's been tough. I mean, especially on me. Um, you know, I've lost all sense of time. The days just run into each other. But I think we really found our groove. And uh, I mean, check this out. Zero steps in three days. Zero steps. And the beers is amazing. Mm. Look, I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but I really think we're onto something. I can't wait for people to try this thing. I mean, we're literally redefining what beer is and how it's made. It's gonna be huge.